Last night, President Biden addressed the nation, urging Congress to do something about our nation's gun epidemic in the wake of multiple high-profile mass shootings over the past few weeks. He pleaded for common-sense gun reform, saying this isn't about taking away anyone's rights. It's about protecting children and families. The president called for measures like reinstating the assault weapons ban, banning high-capacity magazines, and passing red flag laws. You would think that these proposals would be overwhelmingly supported, but frankly, I'm not optimistic. While the House is expected to vote on sweeping gun reform legislation next week, the Senate does not have the 60 votes necessary to do the same. I won't be optimistic until fewer of our political leaders are in the pockets of the NRA and until more follow the will of the people, which is for increased common sense gun reform, like more background checks and red flag laws. In Oklahoma, where four people were killed by a gunman who, according to police, blamed one of his victims, his doctor, for causing him back pain, the state has actually banned red flag laws. If that's not backwards thinking, I don't know what is. The problem is there are too many guns in this country, well over 300 million in fact, and too many people believe the Second Amendment gives them the right to own military-style weapons. One solution that might help is a serious national buyback program. Australia collected more than 600,000 guns during a buyback program between October of 1996 and September of 1997. Since then, Australia's suicide and homicide rates dropped significantly, but a buyback program would require a serious buy-in by gun owners to work. Are there other issues like mental health and illegal guns? Yes, absolutely. But the common denominator is guns. We have too many of them, and it's too easy to obtain them, and too many of them are all too powerful. We'll be right back.